Hey fam, welcome back to Time Bikes TV and Life. So today, I'm going to take on the challenge, okay? I saw someone do this Dollar Tree challenge, and it is to create, make you a 72-hour survival kit. Now, you know they do sell these up into uh, Walmart and other stores, but they cost a pretty penny. So let's go into the Dollar Tree, see what we can get, and I'm doing this for one person okay so let's go in and see what they have so we have the water we have three of the gallon waters the gallon waters one gallon per adult each day okay and then since i was already up there i went ahead on and grabbed this right here you can use this for lighting Take it outside, charge it, bring it in the house at night, and you have lighting that's safe. So this Dollar Tree doesn't have any kind of electrolytes that are powdered. That would be best for you to get, but if they don't have them, you can get something else like over here. All of theirs are gone. These right here. So you would get you, you know, one box of these. So actually this is an energy one. So you definitely would want to get you know oh, one box of that so you're gonna want something that's gonna last you three days for survival okay you want something to last you longer let's start with three days and i'm making this kit for one of my kids to go off to college so that's what i'm doing so this is water food you're also doing cooking fire medical hygiene um you're doing your supplies like any tools you might need etc so that's what we're looking for and we're looking to get it on the cheap so okay so far i have added i have my three bottles of water to last me and that's just for drinking um you could use it for cooking but you're definitely going to need to get some bottles that you've used before and store you some water ahead of time of anything happening that way you'll have it on hand i typically use laundry detergent bottles and i put water in there and i use those for cleaning so we have our light right here that we can bring in at house we have our energy pack to go into our water drinks we also have a fire source to start the fires with we have matches here and we have our can opener now i'm only getting one but typically you want to have more than one you always want to have two of these right here because they usually break and then over here i got some cleaner with bleach in it and then i also have the wipes that have the uh, bleach in it because you want to keep everything as sanitary as you possibly can grab you some gloves Now, we haven't gone over to the food section yet, but you definitely want to get you some plates. This is like $15 in here for $1.25. Some bowls. Now, they do have toilet paper in here, um, but they are typically the thinner sheets. But I'm going to grab one of these Scott Comfort right here with four in them for $1.25. Paper towel. Then you have spoons, forks, and knives. So now we're going down to food aisle. You want to have three days worth of food. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you don't eat that much, then that's fine. So let's find out what we have in here because this store has a lot of gaps in empty spaces, so they don't offer a lot your dollar tree may offer way more than mine do and let's remember we're trying to look at the calories and the protein when we are doing this so right off the bat you guys i'm looking at these right here you would think that these have a lot of protein and a lot of calories to them this only has 100 calories and only one protein um so this buy i would say is to get that good old fashion oats these oats have 180 calories and they have six protein oh this serving size is based off of a half a cup of these oats 
that being said this is three days breakfast right here in one bag and another option for you if you don't like oatmeal you can get cereal they do have these right here um, you may not be getting as many proteins but you do get 190 calories with this milk so you can do shelf stable milk as well down here you have whole we have two percent milk my kids actually like this milk also but i'm gonna get the oats and then i'm also gonna add some dried they have dried cranberries here and they have raisins and i'm sure they have on another aisle i'm gonna look before i grab these and i'll let you know what i get so being I'm basing this off of doing this for one of my kids, I'm going to do both of them, but just for one of them right now. And let's look at the fact that you may not have power. You may not have any other options. Like they won't have any other options of cooking. So you wouldn't want to get this rice right here, which I love to stock up on rice um, because rice is filling for any meal. But for them, I'm going to do the jasmine rice up here is already prepared and even though it says microwave if you warm up some water I'm gonna get this and then I'm going to get a canned item as well because my kids like baked beans I'm gonna get these right here so that's one dinner but I need two more dinners and three more lunches. And lunch could be something small. So we're gonna get a couple of the tuna. Well, one of the tuna and one of the chicken. And these have the crackers in it with the meat. Okay, so let's look at what we have so far. We have these for our lunches or snacks because some people don't eat lunches you have three dinners right here you have some jasmine rice and you have some baked beans then over here you have just chicken with rice soup that's a meal for dinner and the third one is um your mexican style rice and chicken chili with beans to go with that and then you wanna get like a comfort food. So I'm gonna grab these four packs of Oreos right here. So they do not have any allergy medicines. They're out of them. And then the pain medicines that they have in here, they only have PM. So I would definitely be going to a different store to add that to my stockpile. So make sure you're adding those things, something for pain, something for allergies to your stockpile let me show you what i have put in the cart so far so to my cart i have added first aid kit and i've added some stomach relief because you never know what's going to upset your stomach so something else good to have is some baby wipes on hand now they have these Fisher Price right here, 64 wipes for $1.25, or you can do the Almond Hammer Kids Hand Body Wet Wipes. Also, I don't know how many are in here, 30. So there are 30 in there, and there's 64 in this one, so we're gonna get this one. And being you don't know if you're needing some kind of ointment for a rash or whatever, and you may be sensitive to some things. I always get like a baby one. And in case you are with somebody in your home, and it's multiple people, um, and you have to separate quarantine like kind, you can get you a shower curtain or two. They're typically thicker. These right here don't feel that thick, so I'm not gonna get these, but you could usually get, this one's a little more thicker the shower curtains and some duct tape and duct tape that room off so no one will go into that room. Dollar Tree does have duct tape in here and there are some things I would tell you 
you'd be better off getting in other places, you know, for the money. But you can get duct tape out of the Dollar Tree. So I already have lanterns at home that I can put into their kits because when a Walmart went out of business, we got a lot of things. But they do have some in here. These lanterns right here um, take AA batteries. So whatever light source that you do get, if it requires batteries, make sure you have those batteries on hand. And if you have pets, cats, dogs, etc., make sure you have treats for them as well as enough dog food and that is stored properly so that they can have it. And here's a nice little doggy toy here. Here's one here. And I'm just going to get this for my dog now since I'm in here. I have never bought a Dollar Tree toy for my pet because she is a Connie Corso and I never will again because she tore it up in less than an hour. Now you're more than welcome to throw candles into your 72 hour kit, but also having these right here definitely work. You can get a couple of them, sit them in a jar and use those to walk around your house, go to the bathroom or whatever. And if you think you're gonna get bored in those three days or more that you are without power and wanna reserve some power on your phone, they have some games in here as well. And I think this is the dollar 25 out, so lots of games in here, puzzles, um, crossword puzzle books is also that you can do. Now I'm over in the party section. I thought maybe they would have the um, little burners, that, the warmers that you can put under your pans and stuff to heat things up, but I don't see any in here. Your Dollar Tree may have them, or you may have to actually go to like a Walmart or somewhere to find those. So this store does not have any tools, but this, this is all they have. And we have a ton of these at home and also these right here so if you want to add that to your um, stockpile or take what you already have and make sure you know where it is do that but this store hardly had anything that i needed that i was looking for to do this actual video so this is everything that we have let's go see how much it cost Oh, and also what I plan to do with this stuff here. So the plan for this stuff in this um, cart right here is to put it in a bin for them to take back with them when they go off to school, set it aside, and they will have what they need because they'll be on the coast. There's always a storm and they'll have some things handy for them. So I'm just adding some cough drops and then I'm going to leave because it's going to be some other stuff that I add to this. Everything that I told you about that I didn't get out of here, I'll probably add to this, but I'm going to have to get it from somewhere else. Unfortunately, this is what we're dealing with and you want to start now with stocking up because you don't know what the shelves are going to look like in the middle of a storm. And... If you want to put a kit together for your kids, your grandkids, or any family member that you know is not really going to stock up, but you want them to be okay for a little while, that would be a nice um, gift to give someone. So the matches I'm actually getting for myself because down to a small amount at the house other than my waterproof matches. So I'm adding these to my list as well. So y'all, I paid $41.87. And you may, some may say that's too much to pay for a three-day um, survival supply kit. I think it's actually pretty good. 
I mean, yeah, you can get that survival kit in Walmart, and I'll probably show you that in a video I'm about to do. Or I'll take a picture of it with the price. And you decide if you want to eat that food or if you want to eat this food or you can go to somewhere else and get it. I apologize for that, but that's it for this video. I just want to, you know, give y'all some ideas of some things that you can do because without a doubt, we are going to be faced with emergencies, storm related or not storm related. And we need to be as prepared as we possibly can. So I want to know that my kids have something, you know, to tie them over if, you know, push comes to shove. So y'all take care. Please hit the like, share the video out, leave comments, leave tips and ideas, things you will add to your list um, because it may help me. It may help someone else in the comments and that's what it's all about. So sharing is caring. See y'all in the next video. I'll call you. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for